You're watching WPTA TV 21 Live Weekend News with Diana Lee, Ryan Elijah, and Jay Walker. Princess Diana's friend Dodi Fayed was laid to rest today, and one person was killed in a bicycle car accident on US 24. Good evening. Topping our first seven minutes of news, the Bower Street tire fire continues to burn. We'll have that story in a minute. But first, two people have been injured, one critically, in a shooting on Avondale Street near Rudisol. This is a scene of the crime scene where police officers had been combing the area talking to eyewitnesses. Police say a handful of people were gathered around 7 this evening when things turned ugly. The group began arguing and a physical confrontation followed. Witnesses told police several shots were fired and that the two victims attempted to run but were struck by bullets. The 20-year-old who is in critical condition was shot in the head and the abdomen. His name is being withheld so family members can be located. 19-year-old Joseph Ward, the second victim, was shot in the leg. Now, neighbors say the recent shootings in Fort Wayne have them worried about their safety. Kind of worried about what happened here with my kids. Um, and yeah, it does worry me with shootings that are big going on there. We heard shots last night. Police say they're looking for a male teen who was wearing a gray shirt and black pants. He was also described as having short, close-cut hair. Police also have no motive for this shooting. The fire is still burning at the old Fort Wayne recycling facility near the downtown area, and that means the city remains in a state of emergency because of health and safety concerns. Mandatory evacuations include homes bordered by Creighton Street on the north, Anthony Boulevard on the east, Pontiac Street on the south, and Oliver on the west. 21 Alive's Camille Whitworth reports. The building's coming down as the firefight continues. One day after shooting flames engulfed a tire dump behind police headquarters on Saturday. Toxic smoke is circling the city. Embers, ashes, and debris are still falling. Where we're starting is we're starting on the east side of the building in the northeast corner. That's the hottest part where the shredded tires are at, and that's going to give us our biggest amount of smoke generation. And then that's where we're working at right now. Chief Hinton says to stay away from the smoke. Close windows and doors and turn off air conditioners because the smoke and fumes are dangerous. For Eden Green, Oaklawn Court Apartments and surrounding homes, evacuations are mandatory. For others, it's recommended. Nearly 700 people are affected. I'm concerned about the direction of the wind. It has already shifted uh, once this morning and fully anticipate as the evening goes for it to shift back toward the northern area. Even police headquarters was evacuated and is moved to the academy on St. Mary's Avenue until it's safe to return. In just a few minutes notice we had to move a lot of equipment and paperwork out and set up a whole new operation, basically set up a whole new police station in just a few hours. The old Bowser building has been a health and safety concern for years. The most recent effort to have the tires removed was when Mayor Paul Helmke wrote a letter to the Indiana Department of Management August 25th, just five days before the fire. In the letter, he insisted the over 600,000 tires were a fire and safety hazard to Fort Wayne and wanted immediate action. Camille Whitworth, 21 Alive News. Several state officials are or will be in town, including members of the Environmental Protection Agency, the state fire marshal, and Governor Frank O'Bannon. Well, for those who had been driven out of their homes yesterday and today, the evacuation will unfortunately continue until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Those spending the night at the evacuation site, which was Memorial Coliseum, say it was a long night. Some whittled away their time by watching TV. Some kept themselves busy by putting together puzzles, playing cards, or reading the paper. Food was provided, though, by the many volunteers, but the generosity didn't replace the gnawing feeling that residents just wanted to go home. Mostly sat and talked to different ones around here. I did bring some work for me to do, but I couldn't concentrate long enough to do any work. I slept like a log. My shoulder hurt, my back hurt. My it, was, it wasn't a comfortable sleep. I missed my bed last night. I'm ready to take a shower. <laughs> My fish are dead. 
My fish are dead, ador dead in the door now. When, I, when they let me go in there this morning, there was a film on top of my fish tank. So I have to go and I have to clean out my fish tank and get new fish. The American Red Cross, as well as other agencies locally, helped these evacuees. In other news, a car bike accident claims the life of the bicyclist. State police say the unidentified male on a bike and the car collided on US 24 west of the Whitley Allen County line. Now that's about three miles north of Roanoke. Police say it happened around two this afternoon when both the car and cyclist were westbound. Officials are trying to identify the biker and they continue to investigate. The death of Princess Diana has left many Americans in deep grief, some blaming the photographers who hounded her in life for causing her death. ABC's Lauren Rogers has that aspect of this royal tragedy. President Clinton expressed the sympathy of the nation. This is a very difficult time for millions of people in the United Kingdom who are deeply shocked and grieving. And the American people send their condolences to all of them. From the beginning of her public life, Diana's every move and mood was recorded in the international tabloid press. Security consultant Gavin DeBecker says there was likely more to last night's high-speed chase than the princess attempting to avoid another photograph. What they were doubtless trying to do was protect the integrity of where they were staying, what their schedule would be. There has been no small amount of criticism leveled at the paparazzi. Diana's brother was one of the first to hold the press responsible. It would appear that every proprietor and editor of every publication that has paid for intrusive and exploitative photographs of her, encouraging greedy and ruthless individuals to risk everything in pursuit of Diana's image, has blood on his hands today. Even one of this country's best-selling tabloids is doing its best to distance itself from the international paparazzi. The National Enquirer has promised not to publish photos taken of the princess trapped in the wreckage. It's one thing to observe celebrities, it's another thing to hunt them down, and a line has to be drawn. Around the globe, those who routinely find themselves on the other end of the lens are calling for new restraints on the tyranny of the paparazzi. But for the most part, mourners here at the British Embassy in Washington are too stunned to have much to say about the role of the press in this tragedy. Lauren Rogers, ABC News, Washington. Princess Diana's companion, Dodi Fayed, has been buried in Britain less than a day after the car crash that claim, claimed his life and the life of the princess. The 42-year-old was laid to rest at a cemetery 25 miles southwest of London following a Muslim ceremony at the London Central Mosque in Regent's Park. The swift and simple ceremonies for Fayed were overshadowed by the national mourning for Diana. Switching gears in tonight's good news, a Marian woman will probably be paying a lot more attention to her horoscope or her lucky numbers in the future. Brenda Dilley won just over $1 million in this week's Who's Your Millionaire television show. She hit the jackpot with her first pick in the millionaire round. She said she'll use her winnings to help her children, plus, well, she'll take herself on a trip to Australia. And continuing our first seven minutes of news, Jay Walker is standing by at the 21 Alive Weather Center with that overnight and morning forecast. Jay? Diana, it's going to be a delightful night. Our low tonight will drop to about 60. That'll be under skies. It'll be clear tomorrow. It'll be a mostly sunny day and a high tomorrow of 86. When we come back, Diana, we'll have the rest of the forecast. All right, sounds delightful. Thanks a lot. And still to come from the 21 Alive Newsroom, people across the country are getting a pay raise on Labor Day. We'll have that. And we have a very special pet who'd love to be a part of your home. We'll have this and much more next on 21 Alive Weekend News at 10. Relaxing can be hazardous to your health. Don't knock it till you try it. Hey, honey! Sunday night on 21 Alive. Your morning forecast, weekday mornings on 21 Alive News from 5.30 to 7. Arby's Authentic Barbecue Sandwich, now just $1.49. Slow roasted beef simmered in tangy barbecue sauce. It's a real good price on the real thing. Rich detail and substance. Wolf custom built homes, individually crafted with ornate hardwood trim. Contact Wolf Homes, a multiple parade of homes winner. Building today, your tomorrow. What's new? Just see what your Mercury dealer has for you now. Right now, get the powerful Mercury Mountaineer with a standard V8 for this great price. And take a look at this. Mercury Villager has an exciting 1% APR financing for up to 48 months or 2,000 cash back. Villager's the minivan that drives like a car. Now with two great offers to choose from. Hurry in for 1% APR financing or 2,000 cash back on Villager. Lincoln Mercury, more than just cars. Maybe it is time to imagine yourself in a Mercury. Imagine yourself in a Mercury now. 
you soon. You sell 30 days in a box. <laughs> Man, I wouldn't want to be in there. New Radiance interior wall finish. Makes rooms feel cooler in summer, warmer in winter. Comfortable in there, tough guy? <laughs> it also saves on energy bills. Radiance. Looks good. Feels better. On the next Regis and Kathy Lee, look who's live. Stopping strangers, mailmen, like to see if they do it. The proud author of the new book, Babyhood, Paul Reiser. Plus, from smart guy, meet whiz kid, Taj Mowry. <laughs> Get it live with Regis and Kathy Lee. Monday at 9 on 21 Alive. Millions of Americans have something to celebrate this Labor Day. On Monday, the federal minimum wage will increase to $5.15 an hour as part of the second phase of an increase approved by Congress last summer. In the state of Indiana, nearly 250,000 people will get the 40-cent raise, while in the U.S., just under 10 million will be affected by this increase. In tonight's medical matters, a new stop smoking pill is being tested in Houston that contains antidepressants. Several different types of the antidepressants are being used to help people quit, including Effexor, Prozac, and Zyban. Now, Zyban has already undergone testing and has been approved to help stop smoking. It's not um, that uh, um, we're you know, replacing one drug with another. What we're really trying to do is go after a symptom that goes on when people try to quit. I did get the actual drug, and it helped a whole lot. Uh, it helped with the cravings, the withdrawal symptoms. Um, it made, I think it made all the difference in the world. Results seem to be promising, but officials say you can't use the pill alone. You also need to use the nicotine patch along with it. Prescriptions are available for the antidepressants. You should just ask your doctor. This week's Pet Saver Pet is an older dog that will get along with any family member. Mandy is an eight-year-old miniature schnauzer. The Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals says Mandy is used to an active family and is ready to fit into any home. She's very friendly, but she does tend to be shy and reserved at times. She does well with older kids and likes other dogs and cats, so she can be accepted into a full household. Mandy does not need a fenced-in yard, so if you live in Allen County and want to make Mandy part of your home, you can call the SPCA at 744-0454. Up next in the weather, Jay says the unofficial end of summer will be beautiful. That's good news. And coming up a little later on, there's much more to buy at the Auburn Core Duesenberg Festival than just the cars. We'll explain. This and much more next when 21 Alive Weekend News at 10 returns. Get your consumer reports Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5, only on 21 Alive. What's in a name? Attorneys whose only business has been helping injured people. What's in a name? Over 90 years of combined experience. What's in a name? Attorneys who spend their time researching the evidence and aren't afraid to fight for victims' rights in the courtroom. Sweeney. Sweeney. Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. And Morgan. Attorneys for Injured People. Say goodbye to 1997 and say hello to big savings. Because when the 1998 vehicles arrive, this big goodbye clearance ends. You'll get great savings on Chrysler and Plymouth cars and minivans. Get up to 2330 in total values on select Plymouth Grand Voyagers. Or lease a Chrysler Sebring Convertible JX for only $289 a month. Say the big goodbye to 1997 and say hello to big savings only during the big goodbye clearance. See your local Chrysler and Plymouth dealer today. I'm Jay Walker. Here are today's high and low and record setters. The forecast is next. Get great back-to-school savings during the Labor Day sale at JCPenney. Shop Labor Day Monday morning from 9 to noon and get 10% extra off already low sale prices. Save on all denim jeans. Men's Levi's 550 jeans, $29.99. Junior's LEI bootcut cords, only $24.99. Boys' Levi's 550 jeans, $19.99. And shop the Buy More and Save More sale. Save 20 to 30% on bedding coordinates, towels and bath accessories, window coverings and luggage. Shop the Labor Day sale Monday at JCPenney Glenbrook. 
Bob Chase tells us planning his funeral in advance through Trust 100 gave him peace of mind. Well, I think prearrangement for that now that we've done it is easily as important as any other insurance policy we have for any reason, uh, whether it's a financial policy for our future, uh, a life insurance policy for uh, maybe our heirs. This is really a total part of financial planning. Protect your family from the financial and emotional burden of arranging your funeral. Inquire about a Trust 100 prearrangement today. Honey, what are you doing? That cleanup project you put on my honeydew list. Dad, you can't throw that stuff in the trash. It poison our soil and our drinking water. Hazardous waste is lurking in your home. Protect your family's health and safety by going on a scavenger hunt for it. For a list of items, call Allen County Solid Waste District at 449-7878. You can dispose of household hazardous waste properly and safely at Talks Away Day. Saturday, September 6th from 9 a.m. till 2.30 p.m. at the Navistar parking lot. Delightful, huh? I like that Just word. A delightful evening outside. Tomorrow promises to be a great day, so mm. make all those plans and enjoy everything uh, as these people did here. Whatever they're doing. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Let me put my glasses on for this one. Mm. What is he doing? Oh, that's. Oh, oh yes. yes, of course. He's putting together one of my favorites a banana split. And I'll tell you, that's where I'm headed. It's the Dairy Queen, local Dairy Queen. We're jumping around. They're a little excited about that, but anyway. Sounds good. Banana split. Makes your mouth water. Fort Wayne temperature, 66. Humidity is 90%. Winds out of the north at 7. The barometer rising. No precipitation has been reported at the airport. Um, as we take a look at the satellite picture, still mostly clear skies over the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley. Few clouds scattered across the Gulf and in the upper Mississippi Valley. Now, they've had some stormy weather all the way from parts of the western Great Lakes into the northern plains. Monsoon moisture continues to flow into the southwest, thus the clouds and the showers back there. You can see the showers all along the Gulf Coast and eastern sections of Texas, right out up into the Central Plains, Central Mississippi Valley. Uh, that's a lot of moisture gathered up in front of this system. Here's a fr stationary front across the southeast. It's been there for some time, bringing thunderstorms down over parts of the southeast, over Florida. Nice day up into the northeast for the most part, but just a few showers inland on the uh, New England states, while out west along the Pacific, they're in fine shape. Those showers Showers down in southern Rockies, uh, back up into the central Rockies, and back into the southwest. Our weather makers bend the system, but high pressure now expected to settle into the Great Lakes and Ohio Valley. It's a rather weak high. It'll be with us uh, through tomorrow into the very uh, early part of the week. About Tuesday, though, late Tuesday, things change as the high shifts to the east. But tomorrow, it's going to bring us pr plenty of sunshine. And the front drops down into the Ohio Valley. We still have some showers off to our northwest, up around western portions of the Great Lakes, all the way back into the northern plains. Some stormy conditions expected there. Our forecast looks like this. For tonight, skies will be clear, low of about 60. Tomorrow's high, 86, and that'll be under mostly sunny skies. The AccuWeather extended outlook showing that It'll be a fairly dry period. Tuesday, or rather Wednesday, looks like a rather dreary day. I hate to say that, but it looks like a mostly cloudy day with possibly showers developing late Tuesday into Wednesday. Temperatures dropping, though, will be the big weather story this week, Diana. Look at there, midweek, mm. 72, 70 on Thursday, uh, then a bit of a gradual warm-up. Temperatures, though, will drop down considerably. Now, sounds like nice fall weather, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess. We better get the banana splits in now, though, yeah, because it'll be before. too cold to eat them exactly. later. Exactly. <laughs> all right, yeah. thanks a lot, Jay. Well, coming up next, we'll show you all the things that are to buy at the Auburn Core Duesenberg Festival. But first, let's take a look at tonight's winning lottery numbers in Indiana. The Daily 3, 518, and the Daily 4, 7366. And finally, here's a look at the rest of tonight's winning numbers. Pick them and win. Play 21 Alive football picks at WPTA.com. Home Improvement introduces the biggest, most powerful security system that money can buy. Oh. I am turning you loose. But Tim's home security is not exactly bulletproof. This is a petition from all the neighbors angry about your security system. Will Tim work out the kinks or lose his noodles? On the next Home Improvement. Monday at 6.30 on 21 Alive. Sunday and Monday at Stuckey Brothers Great Buys Plus. A major savings event. 
Buy anything in the store Sunday and Monday, and 12 months is the same as cash. Pay no interest for one full year on appliances, furniture, home electronics, and mattress sets for two days only at Stuckey Brothers Great Buys Plus. The Labor Day Weekend Sale, through Monday at Stuckey Brothers Great Buys Plus, Coldwater Road, Fort Wayne. Women have come a long way in realizing gender equality on the playing fields of America. The Fort Wayne Daisies broke down barriers for women in our area. Run Jane Run continues this exciting tradition of women in sports September 10th through the 21st. This year's 14 events offer women the thrill of competition, fun, and fitness while building self-esteem, grace, and strength. So just don't stand on the sidelines and watch... Run Jane Run! Excitement is heading for Big Sky at the return of the Pontiac Race to the Red Line. Pack it up with the all-new Transport, loaded with the features you want. Now there's a big selection available with this 97 model closeout value. Now you can drive a new Transport for only $2.29 a month with a 48-month GMAC Smart Lease. Only $2.29 a month. Get into the action now for this great value because the Race to the Red Line ends soon. See your greater Fort Wayne Pontiac dealers now. Up in one corner of 21 Country, the Auburn Core Duesenberg car auction is known worldwide for the million dollar classics bought, sold, and traded. But there's more to this spot than Duesenberg, says 21 Alive's Eric Olson found out. High rollers, high stakes, lots of chrome and glass and class. Familiar sights now to regulars at the Auburn Classic Car Auction. Now, the auction gets most of the attention every year, as it probably should, but the real action is behind the auction barn, out in the field, where you can buy just about anything that comes to mind. Behind the auction barn is the finest auto flea market you'll ever find. If it concerns cars, old or new, it's here. Acres of chrome, sales literature on every car and truck ever made, and more. Wow, 1958 Chris Crafts. Right. Dave Danko's here from Ohio with a trailer load of engines he'd love to sell you. How many of these do you expect to sell? If I sell one, I'll be happy. Really? It's, these uh, boys are looking at toys. Looking. Yeah. You in the market for some uh, for some Hot Wheels, are you? Yeah, I tried to find a 69 Camaro, but they're almost impossible to find. Really? Collector's item? Must be, because nobody has that for me. <laughs> Cleans, polishes, and protects anything. Brass, copper, silver, gold. We suspect in a previous life, George here sold snake oil. Now he's pushing polish. We launder money here, okay? We launder money. Be 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. Whatever your fancy automotive-wise, you'll find it here, though it'll cost you. But not many complaints are heard about prices anyway. Not from buyers who look at a field of silver car parts and see only gold. Eric Olson, 21 Alive. Well, we go from classic cars and lots of stuff to racing cars, and of course, Jeff Gordon hoping uh, for a big payoff. A million dollars, to be exact. Well, that'd be uh, great. Yeah, <laughs> Gordon would certainly take that. We'll see his fate and see if it was a million dollar debut for the Colts. And show you a Fort Wayne Comet like you've never seen him before. It's all next on 21 Alive Sports. Closed captioning on 21 Alive is brought to you by PAT Hearing Clinics. The future in hearing aids is here. You've been smart to hold off buying a new car because the Dodge Big Summer Clearance plays right into your hands. You see, it's even bigger than you might think. On Neon and Stratus, get $1,000 cash back. On Intrepid, get up to $1,500 cash back. So hurry to the Dodge Big Summer Clearance because if you haven't figured it out already, it's big. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. On the next coach, Gus. Luther's trying to catch the big one. This is heaven calling Gus. Hayden thinks it's a waste of line. He doesn't exist. You know, why is it? How come people keep seeing it? Because they drink a six pack before they go fishing. But Luther won't let go of his dream. Either you're gonna be in my hands, Gus, or I'm gonna be in that hole. Gus! The next coach. Monday night at 12:35 on 21 Alive. Stedman Graham is an author, an athlete, a community leader, a successful businessman, and the man in Oprah Winfrey's life. But that hasn't always been the case. Graham has charted his own course for success over insecurity and self-doubt. Arc of Fort Wayne is bringing Graham to the city, and you can join him for lunch. 
Learn his secrets for developing life skills. September 11th at 11 at the Grand Wayne Center. For ticket information, call 456-4534. It's our No Dicker Sticker Sale this weekend. Look for these stickers in every new and used car on our lot. The price you see is the price you pay. Like a new 97 Dodge Neon starting at $99.88. Or a new 97 Dodge Ram truck from only $13,988. We've got special financing and we'll give you top dollar for your used car trade-in. Look for these No Dicker Stickers this Saturday and Monday only at Glenbrook Dodge Hyundai across from Sears Glenbrook. Hey, it's your money. Keep more of it. Hey, Ryan, I didn't know you were such a big Colts fan. <laughs> the lucky horseshoe. Uh, we got a little problem, though. Uh, the luck is running out. Oh, no. It's turning the wrong way. Uh -oh. uh, Colts start the season today. In fact, <laughs> last year, only three teams in the NFL playoff, or in the playoffs went to the playoffs after losing on opening day. That is not comforting news for the Colts. They have started the season with a win only three times since the big move. And as we said, the uh, luck running out of the horseshoe today and also not comforting you're facing Jimmy Johnson on his home turf. The Colts moved the ball early, but Kerry Blanchard could not convert today. The Pro Bowl are missing three field goals in the game. An impressive showing, though, for the Colt D. Elijah Alexander, no relation, by the way, takes a gift here from Dan Marino. 7-3 Colts at that point. That lead, though, is not going to last very long. Very next Dolphins possession from nine yards out. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is going to race in from the right side. The uh, Dolphins are going to take a 10-7 lead to the locker room. A rough, rough second half for Jim Harbaugh. Tossing two critical interceptions. This one here to Sean Wooden. And it's pretty much going to seal the Colts' fate. They were down 16-7 in the fourth. And the Colts are actually going to bench Captain Comeback. Paul Justin is nearly going to pull off the comeback. But the Colts, an opening day casualty day, falling to the Dolphins 10-6. Bryce Bowers, our defense, I thought played definitely well enough for us to win this football game today. And uh, we just uh, made too many errors and penalties and some things that killed some drives ourselves on offense. And you just can't do that at this level. No, we just didn't make the plays to, to win the game. And uh, you know, obviously they did. And you know, they converted the field goals. They uh, got the ball in the end zone, which uh, you know, we weren't able to do offensively. And the Bengals are trying to pick up where they left off last year, and they certainly did. They dug a huge hole, just like last year against Arizona. Jeff Blake, though, hitting Carl Pickens here. That will set up a Kajana Carter touchdown run coming up, which would cut the lead here to 21-17. And in the final minute, Blake is going to hook up with Pickens for the game winner. After three quarters of being booed by their home fans, the Bengals come through 24-21 on the National Football League board. New England big over San Diego with St. Louis beating New Orleans 38-24. Jeff George, not the star in this one. It was Eddie George, ran for 216 in the Tennessee win. Tennessee beats uh, Philadelphia by two touchdowns. Robert Smith goes for 169 in the win. And Dallas thumps Pittsburgh 37-7. Final stop tonight in the Motor City. The Lions also in need of a comeback. Down 17-14, Scott Mitchell is going to respond this strike to Herman Moore. Makes it 21-17 Lions. Atlanta's going to have the final say. But that's a good thing for Detroit. Reggie Brown is going to pick off a Chris Chandler pass. And Bobby Ross is going to win his debut 28 to 17. Other winners, Denver over Kansas City. Jerry Rice, problems in this one with his knee. Also not a good debut for Rod Woodson. They lose to Tampa Bay. New York Jets, red hot. The tuna leads them to victory 41 to 3. Jacksonville over Baltimore. Washington beats Carolina tonight and tomorrow night on Monday Night Football. On 21 Live, the Bears at Lambeau. And winning three of NASCAR's four major races is so hard that Winston throws in a million-dollar bonus. It's only been written, though, 12 checks in those years. Today, though, Jeff Gordon took his shot at winning racing's lottery for the first time in 12 years. Bill Elliott, the last guy that's won that million dollars. Meanwhile, Dale Earnhardt carried off to the hospital after an early crash on lap seven. Southern 500 comes down to the final lap and watch Jeff Gordon and Jeff Burton battle it out. And it's the aggressive Gordon who reaches the finish line first, the third straight win for Gordon. After all, though, he had a million good reasons for not letting Jeff Gurton Burton buy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, I should have never won that race, Jerry, but, uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, good Lord was looking over us. Man, what a team. I did tell you earlier in the week, if it came down that last lap, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get back there. I'm sure he's not happy, but, Jeff, a million dollars. Come on, buddy. What would you expect me to do, man? And we'd all do the same thing. The Card Series took to the road course today. And Mauricio Gugelman takes the checkered flag at the Vancouver Molson Indy. Defending points champ Jimmy Vassar was second. And at the NHRA Nationals, just a little south of here, Kenji Ozaki is going to win the 100000 prize with the win in the Big Bud shootout over Tony Pedregon. It's the first career win. The U.S. Nationals will rev up tomorrow. 
And the second season also starts tomorrow for the Wizards. They open their playoff series against West Michigan. Today they finish the regular season with a meaningless doubleheader. By the way, there are still plenty of tickets available for tomorrow's game at Memorial Stadium. The first pitch at 2 o'clock. Winners tonight in the majors, Cleveland and Atlanta both pick up wins. It was Seattle and Anaheim going. That keeps uh, Seattle one game up. White Sox over Houston 3-1. to one. The Reds get down today, but Detroit picks up a win, as do the Yankees over Montreal. And a moment of silence held today for Princess Diana at the U.S. Open. She, of course, a regular attender at Wimbledon. No surprises, though, today at the U.S. Open. Andre Agassi moving on in straight sets. The best match of the day was on the women's side, where second seed Monica Sellis took out ninth seeded Mary Pierce. And congratulations tonight to former Fort Wayne Common and now current Common Ian Boyce. He traded in his hockey skates for a tuxedo today. Boyce married Kim Kocher to next ceremony today at Sycamore Hills and a beautiful wedding, and they certainly had some nice weather. Well, in Golf A Classic finished today at the Greater Milwaukee Open. Scott Hoke trails by a shot on the final hole. This chip for Eagle, and Scott knows it's going in. He's got the arms up. That is the way to win a golf tournament but by one shot. Second place deflated Lauren Roberts and David Sutherland. Tonight's stumper about NFL's opening day. Eddie George ran for over 200 today, but who was the last guy to run for over 200 on opening day? We'll tell you when we come back. Join me, Mr. Food, weekdays on 21 Alive News at noon and 5. On the next Entertainment Tonight, it's a sexy new Fergie. And only E.T.'s got her brand new commercial and her super slim secrets. I like that. Then. Were you pushed out of GMA? In a provocative and personal E.T. cover story. Joan London speaks out on TV for the first time about leaving Good Morning America. GMA has lost ratings. Do you feel they blamed you for that? Plus, Martha Stewart takes on Terry Bradshaw. I need help. On the next ET. Monday night at 12.05 on 21 Alive. It takes all kinds of lines and angles and designs to build houses. At Bob Busher Homes, we'll give you even more. Like a lasting impression. We build for people like you who want a family home that's affordable, yet built with the best craftsmanship possible. We'll give you the lines and angles and the best craftsmanship. We'll also build a home you can afford. Come see us at our model home. We promise to make a lasting impression on you. Bob Busher Homes. Comrade, you have earned 30 days in box. Oh boy, I'm going to need a chill to go back to the moon. New Radiance interior wall finish. Makes rooms feel warmer in winter, cooler in summer. Enjoying our weather, comrade? <laughs> it also saves on energy bills. Radiance looks good, feels better. Ford's factory authorized clearance. The time when everything comes together. Now, for a limited time, get up to 2,000 cash back and as low as 1.9 financing on every Ford car in stock. Ford Taurus, America's best-selling car. The newly restyled Ford Contour. Ford Escort, the number one small car in America. Every 97 Ford car in stock. Ford's factory authorized clearance. Serious cars, serious savings, like never before. Only at your Northern Indiana Ford dealer. Well, I hate to see summer go by so fast, but we can squeeze out one more nice day. Oh, definitely. One final day tonight. Delightful. Look for a low of 60 tonight. Tomorrow's high of 86 under mostly sunny skies, right? Thanks, Chase. Stumper answered the last NFL running back to go for 200 on opening day back in 84, Gerald Riggs. All right, I want to know, Jeff Gordon, does he get to keep the million dollars or does he have to share it? I think it goes a few different ways, but he keeps most of it. No, that's not too bad. A million bucks for a couple of races. A day's worth? Yeah, not bad. Well, that's the very latest from 21 Alive. The news team returns uh, this morning, or actually tomorrow morning at 5.30. Thanks for joining us. Gotta be fit, gotta look cool, gotta be right, yeah, going back to school. At Kohl's, they got all the styles. Great press that'll make you smile. For back to school, get hip fashions from Lee. Denim jeans, wide leg pipes, and corduroy flares. Lee has styles for the entire family. And Kohl's has Lee jeans at special back to school prices. That's more like it. Kohl's. Oh yeah, you're an adult. We're impressed. Always doing those grown-up things. Eating those grown-up cereals. Well, here's a whole grown-up thing that's news to you. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon sugar swirled all over toasty little squares of wheat and rice. Pretty darn good, huh? Mm. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's the adult thing to do. 
Now at Dairy Queen, when you buy a banana split, you can get another one free. Coupon on these specially marked boxes of General Mills cereals. I love my kids, but sometimes they don't see the messes they make. So they'd never see bacteria here. Even after washing, this counter can be teeming with germs. I see them because I'm a Dow scientist. It's why we created new Dow antibacterial cleaner. It removes grease and kills germs for a microscopic clean, unlike ordinary cleaners. New Dow antibacterial cleaner for a microscopic clean. And for big jobs like floors, new Dow antibacterial concentrate. I know a tip got to close the